All right, let's, what we're going to do here is I'm going to flip over to full screen, and we are going to see our first matchup in the Sweet 16. I am very excited. Let's go. And so the CAD battle is going to begin as soon as I show the 2D print. So we got Dr. Beljan on the left. We got Victor on the right. Both of these guys look like they are ready to go. So here we go. I'm going to show you guys the print. As soon as I show it, you are going to start creating your 3D model, and you're going to enter the mass in the YouTube chat in three, two, one, go. So here we can see this model is called Arm Link. It is in MMGS. It is plain carbon steel. Uh, what is the mass of this part in XXX? X, X grams with a tolerance of plus or minus three grams and they're off both of our runners are going for it so we see dr beljan on the left with the dark theme in solidworks we see victor on the right and uh, we can see that it looks like you know as always when you're trying to create a 3d model from a 2d print the challenge is what's my starting sketch plane and what's my starting profile going to look like we can see uh, what Victor's coming up with here on the right, but before we start commentating on that, let's see what Dr. Beljan comes up with. Sometimes it's always interesting to see if they start on the same profile or if they if they mix it up a little bit. Well, the interesting thing about you know speed modeling is I'm one of the ones that likes to sit and stare at the print for a while and <laughs> you know work it all out in my head, and there's no time for that. You yeah. just got to go instinct. It looks like maybe Victor wishes he would have done that because he just ended up doing a full restart. <laughs> Been there, done that. Yes, <laughs> yes indeed. Uh, that used to be a mantra. It was like, uh, it's always faster to draw it the second time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, it looks like he was pretty fast there. I mean, look at Victor going through, creating that first profile. And it does indeed look like they're both kind of starting out with that same profile, huh? Yep, yep. And so we can see here that uh, Victor uh, taking an interesting approach here, kind of drawing it a little bit... Uh, off from the orientation that the print was in you know if we if we look at the print I'll, I'll show the print here on the overlay in uh, in YouTube um, if we look at the print here we can see kind of uh, the whole part has a little bit more of like a vertical orientation but it's almost like right. Victor decided to draw it laying down on its side so we'll see how that pays off for him uh, now going in and, and creating what looks like the second or third feature there And we see on the right, Dr. Beljan going through, adding in those, uh, looks like they're kind of sleeves. Okay, yep. I, I like that. Almost looks like a bronze pushing. Yep. And we see Victor on the right, uh, using a sketching technique that we can use a lot in parametric modeling where you don't necessarily have to draw uh, the entire model. You could just draw half the model and then you can use what's called mirror to uh, create the other half of the model when you're done. Now, you, there's options on how you do that mirror. You can do it at the sketch level, you can do it at the feature level, and it seems like different CAD engineers have different preferences in that regard. I almost thought you were gonna go with one of my standbys. Um, anytime I was teaching like the essentials class or something like that, you would I would try to get people, you can sketch sloppy and bring it in with relations and dimensions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's not AutoCAD. You don't have to just get the ballpark shape and then pull it in with relations and dimensions. Wow, look at Victor using that that technique oh. of right mouse button to advance through. That is yep. a very That's good one of my concept. favorites. Yeah. That's great. That's gonna save a lot of time, both in the modeling challenge, but also just in the real world, you know? Yeah. And that's one that I always push people to is to watch the feedback at the mouse. Because, you know, right there by the selector, by the arrow, there's so much information for and sure. people miss that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You got to kind of take your time as you're going through and watch that. And we see on the on the left, Dr. Beljan going through and creating, you know, similar to what Victor did, creating that using the uh, uh, creating half of that feature, you know, with the and plan of it over. doing a mirror later. Exactly. And we see on the right uh, that the mass properties is up for Victor, that he's got the mass added in there, and uh, that the mass that he came up with was 16273 grams, and that is correct. That is the correct mass for that part. So that's going to give Victor the first win in this head-to-head -head matchup. We're going to see at least one more match between these guys. But listen, guys, if you could please, in the chat, give Victor a GG. Give uh, Dr. Beljan a GG as well. But Victor, wow, that was fast, man. He just flew through that model. That was, uh, I'm not sure if anybody out there in the